What's up, Matt? Did you see the new rule? Don't even get me started. This is bull. Well, if it doesn't matter. What did you do? I don't know. I just I put a I put a stock on a pistol. It's showtime. Ah! Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Demolition Ranch. As you can see, we made this a giant, 11 foot tall, solid block of aluminum foil, sphere of aluminum foil. It took us eight years to make. It cost $43,000. Hold, hold up. Oh wait, <laughs> no, it's, it, it's, it's much smaller than, than that made it look. Did you guys fall for it or nah? Nah, okay, cool, Never mind. We did make a solid sphere of aluminum foil. This took forever, so this was 10 packs of like the big rolls and we like hammered it all one layer at a time to make it as dense as possible. Cause if you just like wad it up, aluminum foil, you could get one that's this big pretty quickly, but it'd be super light. This one is pretty heavy, probably about 25 to 30 pounds, I would guess. So we wanted to see if packed aluminum foil ow, would stop a bullet. Today we have a brand new gun. We got this from Classic Firearms. This is from a company called Foxtrot Mike, and this is their Mike 47. So this is actually a pre-production sample that they sent us. This thing was released at SHOT Show this year. And as you can see, it looks like an AR, but it has a 5.56 AK magazine. So this takes a regular AK mag that is chambered in 5.56, just like that, rocks in like an AK, but has a lot of AR features, as you can see. We have no buffer tube, so you can have a foldable stock, foldable collapsible Magpul stock on this thing. We have a side charging handle up here, so you'll notice there's no charging handle in the back like a regular AR. This is a gas impingement system, um, but we're going to rock it today and see how well the Mike 47 fires the 5.56. Out of it. We're not going to shoot with this first. We're going to start smaller. We'll shoot with 22. Shoot the nine millimeter. That can... Holy! Oh, also, <clears throat> we have a giant sticker ball. This is from a guy on Discord named Guy with a Chair. Uh, he made this. These are like he worked at a pizza shop. So every time they got an order, they would get a sticker, and he just started saving them all in a giant ball. So this is a sticker ball. It's made completely of stickers from orders at a pizza shop. So we're gonna shoot that as well. We didn't know what else to do with it. So we have a snowman made out of uh, aluminum foil and sticker ball. We'll see what both of them stop. In the comments below, tell me if you think this will be stronger or this will. This is just paper. This is metal, but this is twice as big. Check it out. America. Walther P22 shooting you guessed it, 22 long rifle. Let's do sticker ball first, and then foil ball. Okay, let's see what we got. We're not gonna be able to tell anything if they didn't go through. You'll just be like, yeah, they went in and they didn't come out. You can't tell how far they go. Sticker ball right here, did not come out. Foil ball right there, did not come out. It is actually right there. It's like half a centimeter in that hole. That looks good. That means foil ball is going to be pretty tough. Let's go ahead, move it up. The Calico M900, made in California, no wonder. <laughs> Chambered in 9mm, we'll see if she fires. The rear sight is hooked to the magazine. It's an interesting feature. 
That goes this way. See, now you got no rear sight. I got one in the chamber. I could fire right now. Just using my front sight only. Let's see what happens. We'll do sticker ball. Oh my gosh, I forgot how uncomfortable this is to actually shoot. Sticker ball first. And foil ball. Boom. I bought this gun because it looks interesting. Not because it looks good. And not because it works good. Because it doesn't. Sticker ball right there. No exit wound. Foil ball actually hit right next to the 22, and you can see the bullet down there. Uh, I can see it, camera can't see down there, but it is less, I mean, it's it's one centimeter in. Got our bullet right there. Foil ball doing really good. I cannot see the bullet in here. Can't touch bullet in either hole. So, let's step it up to the Lord's caliber. Whoa, hey, SMG. 45, 45. ACP coming in hot. That's a big old hole there. Which, as you guys know, I love big holes. Well, I can see what happened on the foil ball. Let's look at this one first. Right there, I can't see it. Man, so they're like sinking in this sticker ball. Can't feel it either. You can definitely see what happened on the foil ball. This is solid foil. We didn't put anything in the middle. It is just packed foil. We didn't pack it with a press either. We just hammered. Just million hammer strikes to make it hard. And uh, that stopped a 45 ACP in half a centimeter. Slower, bigger round makes sense that a nine went deeper. Let's go ahead and uh, switch to some rifle rounds. Let's try out this uh, new Mike 47. The Mike 47. Chamber to 5.56. Wow, it was really loud and a big fireball. That was me getting too excited pulling some of those off. Let's see what we can do a little long range. This thing just has a 1x little red dot on it. Let's see what we can do here. I like it. What's that noise? You guys feel that? as good for you guys as it was for me. This actually reminds me of the CMMG Mutant. So this is the MK47. Uh, so it is an AR with an AK magazine. This one also is gas impingement. This one has a standard charging handle in the back, whereas this one, as you know, has a side charging handle. But yeah, overall, kind of similar. This one's 556, this one's 762. That's pretty much all I had to say about that. Let's shoot some balls. 556. Five, versus my bigger ball. And now versus my small shiny ball. Let's go see what they did. Right there, didn't go through. So, 
just like all the other ones, I have no idea how deep it went into this. This one, I think went deep enough that we can't tell. It did not go through either. These are the three shots from earlier. Did not go through. As expected, nothing's going through and we can't see anything. But I think the next round, a 308, 762 by 51, I think that will go through one of them and I'm not sure which one. Because this is really thick. Let's find out. Christensen MDR. Woo! 308, these are full metal jackets. We'll see how this scope is sighted in at close range. Fire in. Ow. Knock my ears off. And the little baby ball. Let's check it out. Dang, that's cool. So 308 went in right here and came out with a vengeance all the way through the solid ball of stickers. Interestingly though, foil went in, nothing came out. Those are entries from the other bullets. So foil is way stronger. I, I really wish I could see that bullet. It, I think it's like three inches deep, but it's hard to tell. It's very narrow down there. Very skinny and three inches. Sounds average. I was just thinking like, we're gonna shoot something that's technically metal, I mean, but it's like foil, but it stopped literally everything. So I scooted back, I doubled the distance. We're at least 30 yards away now, so it should be safe, right? And we're gonna shoot it with a, this little blue tip, Fireball 50 BMG, uh, out of old Goldie. It'll be fine. We got two Fireballs, I mean regular ammo. Let's see what it does to the sticker ball first. Dang, knocked it off the brick. And let's go at the foil. Let's go see if we hit him. Looks like, yeah, we hit, oh, this is, what is that? Is that from the foil ball? I'm not sure where all this stuff came from, but it's everywhere now. Let's see, there's our entry right there. Yeah, pretty unassuming, you know, just a little, let's see if, let's see if it went through. It did, yep. Holy cow, you can see that that is just solid stickers, but it ripped through there, ow, like nobody's business. Also looks like a, some shrapnel might have hit the ground there. Let's see if it went through this one. Where is it? Dude, if it's, it stopped it. Holy cow. That is, ow, there's something hot in there. That was probably a piece of the bullet just fell out of his hole when I tipped it over. That is the entry. 50 BMG going in and nothing came out. All right, just figured this out. You can see that it's kind of egg shaped, how it has this bulge right here. That is our entry. This thing was perfectly round and now it was trying to get through. It almost, I probably didn't almost make it. There's probably this much, but it hit so hard that it made it all push up like an egg shape. That is so crazy and insane. So we have a 50 BMG, oh, there's stuff falling out. Look, all that stuff just fell out. That's, I'm trying to figure out if that's bullet or if that's just super compressed foil. It's just foil and it's super hard. It got heated up and compressed quite a bit by a 50, what is that? That's burned foil. Oh my gosh. So there's a 50 cal in there somewhere. Um, or these are pieces of it with foil, I can't. I can't really tell. But this thing is about probably eight inches in diameter. Stopped a 50 BMG blue tip. How about 50 BMG black tip? Plutonium tip, just kidding. Uh, it's just AP rounds, these things, uh, don't ever stop. They go through everything in the entire world. Ugh. 50 BMG black tip coming in hot. Oh yeah, that went through for sure. Okay, 
let's look at the entry first. There it is, right next to our 308. Uh, let's see if I can find the exit wound. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. As you can clearly see, wow, that feels so weird. The 50 BMG went right through. This thing took about 40 man hours to make, hammering sheet after sheet of foil into this sphere. And it took about one second to completely destroy. We're actually gonna put this thing in the front of Bunker Branding if you guys wanna come see it, uh, cause it's pretty crazy. A sphere with a big blown out section in the back. Black tip, getting it done. Thanks to Foxtrot Mike for sending us the new Mike 47. Very interesting, very cool gun. Oh, we never even shot it like this. That's better. Thanks for watching this episode, Demolition Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.